All right, guys, here we are with Warplanes WWI Fighter. So I am excited for this game a ton uh, because we have not had any Quest 2 specific games that put you into a plane where you're flying, you're, you're doing dogfights and stuff, which this game does have as well, going through campaigns, just flying all these different type of airplanes. And I'm really, really excited to see how this game translates to a Quest 2 native game. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Game in tech, eating brekkie is the game in tech. Going for a brekkie is the game in tech. Game in tech is the game in tech. Game in tech. -y. All right, guys, so here we are at the main menu here. So let's go ahead. We see we have campaign, quick play controls, and settings, and cloud save. So let's go ahead and dive into a campaign, shall we? This one over here. So let's go ahead and click on this. So you can see here we get five different options. We have leisure, simplified flying model, auto aiming on all targets is available. Uh, this is for seated. Arcade, simplified flying model, auto aiming works only on ground targets. Realistic, flying model based on aerodynamics. You can perform rolls and loops. Takeoffs and landings are enabled. Simulation, advanced flying model with real engine power. Stalls are possible. Takeoffs and landings are enabled. So this is if you want the full simulation. Real war, setup similar to slow mission, but additionally, all HUD models are in it. So it's cool that it has all of these options here. We're definitely not gonna do either of these two or leisure. Uh, leisure seems too easy. I'm kind of between arcade and realistic right now. Uh, simplified flying model auto aiming works only on ground targets uh, let's go ahead and do realistic let's go ahead and see how this works here let's see if we can handle realistic in 1918 the great war has changed the world while the infantrymen die in the trenches high above them ace pilots are risking their lives to change the course of the war you are one of the pioneers of aerial warfare Ooh, this is cool. Your oh first man, this is, is awesome. To destroy enemy fighters. Check the manual in your cockpit if you need more information and Des guidance. Destroy four fighters, protect Zeppelin's secondary objective, destroy all enemies. So this is how you steer. So this arrow is pointing us to some things here. Okay, here we go. This is a really, really cool plane. Like the fact that how you're in here, you can even take this out. And just shoot like a like a flare and stuff so that's really cool um this is how you change the speed right here so you can go faster We got one. This looks a lot better than I thought it ever would on the Quest 2. I'll say that right now. Like being able to fly here and, and you know, this airplane model, how good the cockpit looks in this in this airplane, um, you know, just flying around here. Much, much better looking than I thought it would ever look, especially this plane here and uh, how this controls. This is really cool. So now that you guys know ex a little bit of how um, it works when it comes to you know, using the flying model, the simulation, we're gonna go ahead and switch to arcade mode a little bit so we can see. So you can see that the auto aiming is enabled for ground people. Uh, you can load a flare, you can shoot the balloons with the flare. So let's go ahead and see how this goes now. We're gonna take the flare gun here and we are going to attempt to shoot one of these blimps in the air. Uh, I believe that's how you actually do it. Ah, we missed. We hit that, but we almost fell with it. <laughs> All right, so we got one. There, there goes the blimp. All right, let's see how we do with uh, the auto aiming here. Let's go ahead and kill another one of these blimps here.
Oh, we missed that one again. Oh, no, we got it. Wait. Did we miss that again? Oh, no, we got it. He's down. Okay. And you can see it looks like an arcade mode and it adds this vignette as you're actually flying the plane. Um, I had no issues doing it the other way either. Um, but obviously, he, these are here for comfort options. You could obviously turn them off in the options if you want to. When you're going fast, it doesn't actually do anything, but um, but it will do it uh, in arcade mode, uh, naturally. One of the things I noticed is that we got some bombs that we can throw on here. So let's see how easy this actually is. If I take one of these. That failed epically. Let's try one more time. Right here at the bottom of our feet. Damn, we got nothing. It is cool, but it definitely is going to take some practice on how to uh, drop these effectively. Got that one. Now looking at the other campaign mission you could start with. Is to destroy enemy We're on a different kind of plane here a little bit. There we go. We got one of those balloons. Balloon down. I was really close. We almost ran into that. One's gone. I got it. There we go. That one's out. That one's out. All right, we got one left, folks. Here's this one right here. All right, we're gonna miss, aren't we? That oh, we still got that. Let's go. That nice little sideways throw that we pulled off. Let's go ahead and take these airplanes down now. Let's take out these four fighters. We got one over there. Almost took him out. He was almost out of there. So that's our main goal is to take these four guys out. I thought it was the blimps, but now I just realized. He's out. Took a hit on some of him. I thought he was out, but he's not. He's out. Took him out a little bit. Let's see if we can follow him. He's more than halfway. Smoke coming out. He's out. I have a 
visual on enemy fighters. All right, we got two more coming. You can see we destroyed two or two. Secondary objective was to kill that train over there. But we'll worry about that at a different time. Oh, we just got killed. I totally forgot that they can shoot back at you. Um, I don't know why I just stared at them and thought that they couldn't shoot back at me, but at least that gives you guys a good idea of what you guys can expect when you're playing these campaigns and stuff. Um, you know, you can come back here and, and explore these campaigns. Uh, and again, it's not just campaigns. There's also quick play as well. So if, for example, I wanted to do arcade mode and, and come in here and do quick play. Look at that. Now we're in a quick play. We're in a completely different outfit of a plane. Um, the steering seems to be pretty similar though, but the plane is different. The gun is different. And now you're playing on a dark map instead. You can see that there's 48 fighters to destroy. But yeah, that gives you guys a good idea of what you guys can expect out of the game like this. Uh, this game is fantastic. I'll tell you guys that already. I didn't expect the graphics to look as good. I didn't explain the detail of the plane to be this good. Uh, it's really, really fun. Really easy to control, especially with all the variety of options. If you want full-on simulation, do it. If you want more arcade, do it. Uh, I showed you a little bit of each on, on how each differs and the controls definitely it's easier to control the plane in arcade mode than it is in simulation because it doesn't take any of the effects of like the way you're moving and the wind and stuff like that so it's definitely easier to control the plane in arcade mode uh, you can auto aim at the at the ground troops and stuff like that uh, but really really cool stuff the fact that you can throw bombs throw flares controlling the shooting um, being in the cockpit feels fantastic the shooting as you guys saw there at the end uh, getting into quick play and stuff is really fun. There's a lot of variety in the campaigns and the locales, nighttime, dark time, and the quick play and stuff and the missions that you're doing uh, and the online multiplayer and all that kind of stuff that's in the game. Uh, the dog fighting, it's just all a lot of fun so i would urge you guys if you guys are have been looking for like an airplane type game on the oculus quest 2 and all you've, you've only played pc versions of it and you didn't think it could be done well on the quest 2 well here's your answer guys this game is done really really well gives you guys a variety of planes to play with and a, a variety of uh you know things to go after and, and it looks fantastic so definitely check out warplanes wwi fighters guys if you guys have any questions about what you guys saw in today's video as always leave it down below if not thank you guys for watching until next time.